Okay guys, we have got to get caught up on some things. For those of you that have been following along, you already know I live on a teeny island and I work on a teeny island, but I go to church on Whidbey Island, which is actually one of the longest islands in the United States. There are several towns on it and for me to get there, I have to take a ferry and then drive and cross a bridge to get to my church. It takes like 40 minutes of driving. Then, uh, my family and I own a holly farm on Whidbey Island, and it's a long story how we ended up with it, but anyway, in mid-November, we open a Christmas shop, and we have a store through Christmas Eve, which means things definitely get revved up for my family, but I still have work on Shaw. So I squish all of my clients into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday nights, I go over to Whidbey, and then I spend Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday afternoon working at the store, and I have just enough time to go to church on Sundays. It is an insane marathon that we run. It really, really is. Um, so, this weekend is when we're opening. It's Wednesday night now, and I'm going to show you how we get there. So, fasten your seatbelts because you are going to have to be moving at Rawls pace for this one. We are now scampering to the ferry landing. It's starting to rain. No shocker there. Okay, because I leave Shaw Wednesday night, I can go to our Wednesday night service, which is a big deal. It means I have fairy time to make myself not look like the wreck of the Hesperus. Alrighty, so it is Thursday morning. I'm at the holly farm now. Look, look, it's a holly tree. That's what they look like. And you are going to be seeing a lot of holly trees in this episode. So we live on the same property as the store, which means I get to just walk to work every morning, which is lovely. It takes like, you know, two minutes. And, dun, 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 dun. <gasps> a not in time. Welcome. Let's go see what's going on. Here we are. Oh, is it just so? Fun fact, all of the lavender here is from Shaw. Oh look, he's from Shaw too. Hi. And we are just getting things set up. We are almost, almost ready, but not quite. So we have super hardcore revamped our kids' table. And look, so I just, this is my first time in here this week, and look what came in. I haven't even seen this. Mexican cookbook for kids. Look like a pro, speak Spanish, eat healthy, explore Mexico, hold a food fundraiser. Oh, well, I don't know about the food fundraiser, but now I want this. Oh, traveling the world one recipe at a time. This, this just pretty much sells itself. I don't even need to work here for this. Oh my goodness. But you know what this table's missing? A children's book, not a cookbook. We already have that. But I just feel like somewhere on here, we need Clojo's friends around the world. Which mom, mom said she wants it in her store. I didn't even have to ask. She asked me. <sighs> really good. Really, really good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm trying to print labels and it's not working. I've got all these people waiting for labels and this computer's being stupid and I tried the other computer and that one's not meshing with the printer for some reason. <sighs> Patience, we're learning. <laughs> Patience. Really, this is, oh, this computer is like from the Stone Age. Oh my goodness. I don't have one in here for 74 bucks. Where is it? Did I save it with cash? Maybe. I don't remember. I will not be beaten. Success, guys. We're getting somewhere. All right. Isaiah has made some of his 
fabulous lemongrass soap. And so now we are going to wrap it. It's a bit of an origami game though, so here's hoping it goes smoothly. And while we do that, we're gonna study for Bible Institute. Cause you know, I'm a woman, therefore I can multitask. <laughs> if one must wrap soap late into the evening, then at least do it with your nephew. Jaber, I don't think you've been on a vlog since I was that trip. How have you been? Pretty good. We've been seeing a lot of each other lately because um, he's been helping us get the shop ready to open. Yeah, I haven't been freaking I'm out. telling you, you can't get away from this boy. I love your shoes. Look, look, wait, wait, wait. It's not, it's not taped yet. It's a little late. Take them so. Yeah, just so nice. Can you read it? Homemade lavender soap. Homemade lavender It's so. There, there, now it's up. Sort of. Anyway. This is the last one. Well, that's the last one. Yeah, having, no, wait, having, never mind. There's another one. <laughs> having difficulty. Shaper's not very quiet. I was going to say something. Yeah. Sassy, but then I realized it was recording. Now I can't even know what I was gonna say. Wait, is it still recording? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go now. <laughs> so we have finished. Hooray. Yes. Yes, and these, look at all these. Man, look at face. They're just so nice. So tonight, or tomorrow, I think tomorrow, Isaiah is making more soap. So we can do this all again tomorrow night. Same place, <laughs> same time. It'll be great. Yes. yes. Good stuff. Well, yeah, me. yet another thing to scratch off the list. Where's we me? are getting close. Where's Joel? Joel. Hey. There he me. is. Yay. Are you excited for holly season? Yes. Yeah. Good. All right. I think Thursday's coming to a close and we can go to bed. <laughs> okay, it is Friday morning, 9 o'clock, which means 24 hours from now, we're going to be open. So this is the final dash to get it all done. So, here we go. Don't you love it when you price something, and you get them all priced, and then you realize that your pricing is 45 cents off, so you have to reprice. Okay, Isaiah's here showing us what he's been working on today. I uh, made soap. Ooh. What fragrance? Nothing right now. Oh. There will be uh, lavender later. Mm -hmm. Do you have any soap making secrets you'd like to share with the world? No. <laughs> so then what do you do with it after that? It goes in the, the molds. <laughs> Where's the molds? We uh, we scent it and then it goes into the, the big square and then we chop it up after it cools and hardens. You don't want to get your finger under there. Fancy, fancy. And how long does that take? Soap making process in general? I've been going since like eight this morning. No, nine. It'll be nine. So. And it's now almost two and you still have a ways to go. Yeah. Good stuff. Well, we'll we'll be wrapping that later on tonight. Thank you. Okay, it is now brownies. <laughs> it's time to make brownies. I love brownies. This is always three. Yes. So Joel's going to be my helper for the endeavor. I'm not taste tester. Not taste I've tester. Had never peoples. No, we're not taste testing. We're only making brownies. Both. All right. Stir Ooh. it up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. You mixy mixy. You're a natural chef, there, dear. Perks of the job. Mm. It's a good thing. Hey. Oh my goodness, guys. Brownies. And I feel the hotness. It's beautiful.
beautiful. Yeah. Okay, one more thing checked off the list of what we had to do before opening. Bit of a hitch in our soap get along. The lavender soap didn't work for some reason and the scent is off, which if you're going to have lavender soap, it should probably smell like lavender. Yeah. But it doesn't, and now we're out of soap material and we're opening tomorrow. And this is kind of like a highlighted feature is our homemade lavender soap. And we don't have any. So here's hoping everyone's just thrilled with the lemongrass. On the plus side, it means we don't have to wrap it tonight. Which is kind of nice. We all worked our tails off today getting stuff set so there comes a point where you just have to kind of let go and see what happens so pretty sure at that point mom yeah. how you feeling Ready? feeling prepared yep. we're Ready. set Ready. if mom's feeling good then then we're all feeling good it'll be it'll be a good day tomorrow Today's the day, it's happening. I'm running a smidge late, sorry mom. But here we go. Chantel's our new shop girl and she's getting trained this morning. She's also a good friend of mine so I'm thrilled that she gets to work here too, yay. JJ and Charlie have arrived. Wow, oh, oh hugs all around. Okay, it's nine o'clock. <gasps> Ta-da! Welcome to Holly season 2017. Here we go. We made it. End of day one. It started off ridiculously slow and we're all like, um, is anybody gonna come in? And then right at kind of like the last two hours or so, then all of a sudden all these people are coming in and we we're really busy and then tons of stuff was getting gift wrapped and so Chantel was like rushing things in the back and she was gift wrapping things and Becca was our cash register girl and she actually, I had this moment of panic of like, oh no, Becca doesn't know what's going on and I look over and Becca's like, doo, 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 doo. <laughs> she knew what was going on. How did you feel about the day? It was fun. Fun. It was with Chantel's first day ever, ever, ever at a not in time and she survived quite Excuse nicely. Me. Yes, yeah. Becca, how do you feel? Good to be back in the saddle? Didn't have any embarrassing moments, so that's a plus. <laughs> it's a rare moment for <laughs> Becca. <laughs> we even return people's credit cards, yeah. so yeah. it's a good thing. Chantel had a hard time picking up on that, that we give them back the credit card. charge anybody $5,000. So. <laughs> it's a successful day, <laughs> for sure, yeah. So, Welcome to Holly season 2017. It has arrived. Day one is done and we are just going to keep going until Christmas Eve. So I'm sure there's going to be more Holly Farm vlogs coming in the next month or so. But stay tuned. It's going to be a good time. So see you later.